Yo, what's up guys? So uh, in my shop, my dirty shop, uh, I just wanted to uh, do a little video to, um, you know, maybe help some of these um, issues that I run into a lot. Uh, people will be like, hey, how much is a six foot by three foot dining table with a clear blue river and uh, use black walnut wood? And then you give them the price, right? And oh man, Oh my God, I didn't know it was going to, my budget was $1,000, $1,500, right? It, I get it. I get where they're coming from. Um, when I got into this, uh, you know, I was selling them for really, really cheap. Um, but I wasn't using kiln dry and wood. I was using cheap epoxy. Um, I paid the price uh, with some tables coming back and I learned the hard way. You have to use the right epoxy. And you have to use kiln dried wood. Um, so there's a cost uh, for that. Um, and finding that, finding a mill and getting in with that mill and getting their prices, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, that's just tough on its own. But if you can do that, you know, um, you can get some pretty cool wood for some good prices and actually pass that on to your clients. So I'm going to go through this and, and just kind of show um, everybody, uh, you know, maybe you can use this to show your clients. I know I'm going to, um, as to why the wood, um, and the epoxy and the legs and um, just the whole process costs so much. Um, it's not Ikea, you know, Ikea sells stuff that's pumped out from a factory. These are all one of a kind. Every single one of these are one of a kind. Um, and that alone, um, you know, uh, when you're doing that, you know that it's, there's been some craftsmanship and a lot of time put into it. So, uh, I really made this video to kind of just show um, the costs that go into this so, you, you know, your client can better understand or you can explain to them uh, better, um, you know, why that table costs $2,800 or $3,800 or, uh, you know, five grand. Um, so check it out. Um, this was uh, a CNC cutout of Baja. And, um, you know, we... Uh, this took some time, right? And that's a lot of epoxy. And even though this is only four foot by two foot, this is a $2,500 table. Um, and I'll tell you why. I had to buy that slab. Even though we cut a lot of it off, that slab cost $500. There's probably 12 gallons of epoxy here. Each one of those gallons of epoxy is about $150. So, you know, th then you have to buy the melamine, the, the white stuff to build the form. Uh, then you have to have the Tyvek tape. You know, and I haven't even gotten into... Uh, you know, I have to I have to plane this and then I have to sand it and then I have to put a top coat Then I have to put the legs on so there's a lot of stuff, you know um, This table right here for instance, let me spin around this table right here with two benches with a clear uh, See-through river was only uh, you know uh, What did I do this one for? I think I did this one for um, I think this was a thirty eight hundred dollar set so, you know, you got a beautiful river, um, it's totally clear, uh, some custom legs, even though they're super dirty, and some custom benches that go with it. This one was just finished, and, um, you know, that's $3,800, but that sounds like a lot of money, right? Well, I'm probably one of the cheapest guys uh, that actually do this in a shop, in a professional environment, and actually ensure my work and stand by it with a guarantee. Look at this, I'm actually just walking on some FICA wood that's going to be a table. Weird. Here's one that's going to be a, uh, uh, it's going to be plain tomorrow. That's why all the dust is on there. I don't care. I've been doing other projects. This has already been cured. Um, we're just filling up some little gaps here. Anyways, uh, let me go into part two of this. And this next part is really what you're going to want to show your clients um, because it really, um, it really goes over um, how much all of this stuff costs. You know what I mean? It's not, uh, this is, it's not a, uh, it's, it's really not a $1,500 dining room table, 6, 8, 10 feet. Um, some of these tables are sold for $50,000. So check this next part out. As I said, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's hard to, A, find the wood. Um, and when you do, uh, you know, you're going to be paying by board foot. So it's very expensive. And what a lot of clients don't understand, why they're paying so much is because it costs so much. So uh, this is just a sample of where I get my wood. Um, you can see, I mean, look, just for uh, a good 113 inch uh, in length, and it's, you know, at its minimum, it's a 15 incher, 
width and at its max width it's 36 inches so that means in these little small areas here it's going to be you know the 15 inches and 36 inches so just knowing that you know it at its max width it's it's three feet so uh, if you're doing a three foot table that's perfect for a river you'd only need one slab but look it's a thousand dollars just the slab and you have to plane it you still have to sand it you have to knock off all the bark um, this has just been kiln dried. So um, when you're doing it properly and you're buying kiln dried wood that's not going to warp or um, split on the customer uh, down the road, um, you know, you have to explain to them that they're actually buying something that is uh, going to last them. It's this. It's not Ikea, you know, where you're going to go and get something and, ha and the first time you move it's probably going to break down. But look, so just 78 inches. If I wanted to do a 6 foot table or a 5 foot table, um, and only 22 to 24 inches in width, I would need two of those so that I could do a three or four foot wide dining table and um, this come out to be a, you know, a proper size table. So already 527, I'm going to have to buy two of those. I'm over a thousand dollars, you know what I mean? So uh, just for the wood. Now that's not to mention uh, the other stuff, you know? So here we have, uh, let's uh, go to like the epoxy. So we use premium epoxy from Pormia River. Um, but if you look at the prices, um, you know, for good epoxy, for a three-gallon kit of the deep pour, which is what you use to make the ri uh, the rivers, so you can do it in one pour, three gallons is $240. On the average, a six-foot table, I'm probably going to use six gallons, maybe six to eight gallons total. Um, probably six of these and, a, and maybe a tabletop. I, you know, it just depends on what I'm going to do. But look, I'm, you know, six of these... And this, you're at $1,000 in resin, you know, $800 to $1,000 in resin to do one of these bigger tables, like a dining table. So you, let's say you, pay, you bought that uh, piece of wood that's over here for $1,000 right here. Let's say you bought this one and you cut it down the middle and you flipped it so you were going to do your river. Um, and then you went to go get your epoxy. You're already $2,000 into this table. You haven't calculated anything in on your tooling, like using sandpaper, how much that's going to cost for this table. Um, any kind of uh, finishes that you're going to do if you're not doing a top gloss coat. Um, you know, tooling, the time and use on your tool, you know, your sanders, your, your equipment, um, that kind of thing. Um, now, and you haven't even bought your legs. So, you know, you got to, let's just, let's do this the, che you know, the cheap way and let's go to Amazon uh, for some decent, standard, sturdy legs that will actually hold the weight of these. Uh, you know, you're going to want something like this. You're not going to want those hairpin ones that are like this over here. Um, so you're going to want, you know, something like this. And if you look at this, these are, what are these? These are 153 bucks. You know, so, our, and that's at 28 inches height and 24 inches wide. So, you know, right off the bat, you're, you're $2,000 plus another 153. Um, you know, so... When somebody said, you know, you're telling somebody, hey, my, my, this table is $2,500, they freak out. Uh, uh, trust me, 9 out of 10 of them freak out. Um, oh, I thought my, you know, my budget was going to be $1,500 or, you know. Okay, so I would love to be able to do these for $1,500 because I could sell a ton of them at $1,500. But nobody I've ever met is going to sell me it at $1 a board foot. You know, if I was paying one or two hundred dollars for each one of those slabs, heck yeah, but I'm not. I'm paying like five hundred dollars, you know, for a slab. So, uh, you know, right off the bat, um, and a thousand dollars for resin, um, so it, it, it equals out. So, what you need to do is you need to, some of the bigger uh, guys that, that, that do this and have been doing this for a while, uh, they sell it on Etsy. So, if you just, if you just look at some of these prices, just for the wood slab here with no epoxy on it at all, it's two thousand five hundred and twenty bucks. Uh, somehow this guy with this unique oak walnut kitchen table, I guess it's so unique that it's fifty thousand dollars, thirty-eight thousand dollars, thirty-seven thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars. That is really cool. But you know, some of these are like this is a quilted. I can already see this is like a burled out uh, redwood. That is a really beautiful piece of wood. But twenty-two thousand dollars. And there's no river. It's just the slab. I mean, I get it. That's a lot of board foot, and this is exotic wood. But, I mean, look at these prices. This is what you need to show your client. You know what I mean? And let them know. Say, like, you know, I'm doing this to give them the best value that I can, just so I can make a little bit of money on the labor that I do because I like to do it. 
but uh, you know here's a t this one right here is is gorgeous but you know if if I went to my mill and they had this wood and it was one slab and I paid you know 700 bucks for it cut it down the middle flipped it and did this with epoxy I'd be selling that for like 2800 to 3500 dollars depending on what kind of legs they used and what kind of finish I used on the top so 15,000 you know I mean that looks probably at, it's eight to ten feet. You know, that's nothing out of the ordinary. I do those all day long conference tables for like five grand. Um, so, you know, you need to show them that they could be, they're going to get the same quality. I tell them they're going to get the same quality as this because I'm not doing anything different than these people. Um, they just built a bigger name. And, you know, this one right here is really unique. Like this guy is totally an artist. And this is the ones that I agree with. This is the ones that I get. Twelve grand for this, you're buying it more uh, as a, a wow factor piece in that luxury mansion type home, right? Uh, this table, you know, maybe a company just wants this for their uh, conference table. Twelve grand, like really? You know, I know how much that would cost, and unless that's some kind of an exotic, crazy thing, it, 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 these prices are outrageous. This I get at eleven thousand because that's a one of a kind shape. Well, they're all one of a kind shapes. You know what I mean? And you put a little piece in here that. You filled it like this is nothing that you can't you or I can't do in our shop or garage. You know what I mean? Um, and it really works out great when you've got a metal guy like I do who makes my legs for me for about the same, you know, you know, I, well, it's a little bit more. It's about 300 bucks, but they're totally customized. So, you know, um, between three and five hundred dollars, I can have a set of legs and I don't mark those up. I just pass that right along to my customer, you know. So every single thing is being marked up insane on a lot of these. Now, there's a couple of guys out there, don't get me wrong, and they're doing some really unique stuff, and they're using, like, this wood right here. That's like a quilted, spalted-type wood, and that's just the price goes up. Um, nine grand for that? Uh, questionable, right? But what you got to understand is they're selling this on Etsy, and that's like, you know, you're not doing this on Facebook Marketplace or uh, any local ads in your area. Like, those... Those people are limited, and they're probably not going to have a lot of money. I'm lucky that I live in Southern California, where, you know, f somebody spend five grand on a on a beautiful coffee table. That's nothing, you know. Um, and plus, there's a lot of uh, interior designers. Um, those are a lot of my bread and butter for my bigger ones. Um, so uh, that's what these guys are doing here. This is, you know, um, when somebody wants a unique thing, a, a lot of the uh, interior designers from Chicago, New York, um, uh, Illinois, um, uh, you know all the all the hot spots, LA. Um, they're gonna flock to Etsy. And that's their go-to. And you know, if you have one of these on here that look gorgeous, and you're <laughs> under thirty-eight thousand dollars, you might have a ch you know a shot. But if you if you keep going through here and you look, like this one was really the only unique one that I saw. This blue one right here, if you can see that I'm circling and hovering over. Um, but, you know, this is just, that's just an insane amount of resin. And unless you're using a high quality resin, that's going to sag unless you put steel bars in and nobody likes to do that. Um, you know, nine grand for a, a small, it looks like a couch table, you know, you put behind your couch. Um, this one I understand for the, that, that is totally crystal clear and beautiful. And that is a beautiful, beautiful um, wood. So nine grand for that, that's, you know, that's a one-of-a-kind thing. You know, I, I get that. Um, so, you know, and that's just, that's page one. So if you go to page two, let's see. And I put this, you know, the highest price down to the lowest. But if you look, I mean, the average of these things is still eight grand, eight grand. Uh, this one's a grand because it's a little benchy thing, a little side table that's probably about two feet long. So, um, you know. $7,000 for some Lichtenberg, you know, I mean, they're selling this stuff for insane prices. So what you want to do, if you're not selling it in your local area, get on Etsy. Um, you stand a way better chance after about 30 days and doing a little bit of advertising on there. It's way better bang for your buck for what you're doing than, um, you know, Facebook Marketplace and that thing. And the funny thing is, is I don't really do Etsy. Like, I don't even have an Etsy store. Um... It, I used to, and it kind of launched me, and then I made one post on Facebook Marketplace, and from there, it's literally just been word of mouth, but I'm also not doing these for $10,000, you know what I mean? But this was just like to kind of show you, um, you know, uh, everything that you're doing, um, 
you know, keep doing it and, 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 and explain it to the, to the client, you know, uh, maybe show them this video. Um, as to why it actually costs so much. It's because we have so much into it, you know, and um, we could be selling them for, you know, seven and ten, and let's see if we keep going here. Um, you know, seven grand, I just, there's really nothing unique that looks like a black walnut. Um, I just, I don't understand what it would be. This one, okay, rounds are a little bit more difficult. you got to have a great cutter and um, 6000 for that, yeah. I mean, I, I get that one, um, but you know. So now we're getting into the more reasonable stuff: six thousand five hundred, one thousand four hundred. Okay, so now it's going to get a little bit more reasonable. People are going to start, you know. So about page three, four, and five, um, that's usually going to be the hot spots of where you're going to be in um, on a lot of these tables. But you know, show this to your client. Put in, you know, river table into Etsy, and um, all you have to do is filter it at the highest price and show them say look you know and I mean we could all do this right here clear epoxy with a little bit of tent and a couple of small that's one small board cut in half not equally um, we could all do that but seven grand um, and he's selling it as a bar or countertop um, I have scrap slabs sitting in my shop right now that I could put this together for and make it the exact same and sell it for two thousand dollars on here exactly the same and you know what I mean it's like these kind of things right here, this is really hard to do. It takes a lot of patience. This one I get it, seven grand. That's actually probably a little bit on the low side. But, you know, unless you're doing something like this craziness, um, you're right there in the game. If your table is like a six to eight foot table is between $2,500 and $3,500 and you're not using any kind of crazy exotic wood, you're right there, man, because you've got two grand into it no matter what, you know? And that's the way I look at it. If somebody wants a six to eight foot table, really, I mean, unless they go really exotic on the wood, um, you know, you're going to be at that at that uh, uh, two grand um, um, market. So I hope this helped. And, uh, you know, um, just uh, keep on keeping on and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a bunch more videos like this. Um, but, you know, let's keep this river table stuff going because uh, some of these prices are insane on here and um, we're all making um, just as good a quality as stuff um, you know so uh, just uh, subscribe to the channel and let me know you like this video give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching oh you can also buy my epoxy at www.poormeariver.com we uh, we manufacture our own epoxy and that's all I use so um, check it out